now that I basically have all of my sheets created, the next thing that I want to do is I want to print them. Um, and printing is something that takes all of us time. Um, what Accelerate has allowed us to do and what it has set up in the background is you can um, reconfigure, uh, you can basically configure all your settings in advance. Um, so I've set one up here earlier um, to basically have my ISO 19650 PDF export set ready to go. I can add DWG exports, I can add IFC, I can add NWC. Um, so once I go into con check these settings, which I've configured earlier, um, I have my printer pre-selected, so I have my blue green printer. I have my settings done for my page size, so these are like pulling from um, my it's gone to my other screen. So these would be, you know, like your traditional Revit print settings where you set your page size, you set your placement, you set um, your margins and everything like that. So all that is saved in. And then I can select my sheet set. And again, I can edit my sheet set from here as well because I've just created, um, I have just created um, all of my shoot, new sheets. So I want to make sure that they're also in my sheet set. There we go. Can stuff can go to webinar. And so I can again make sure that all of my sheets are included in here. I can save that. And again, the most important thing is I can set my naming in advance as well. So very similar to what I did earlier when I combined all my parameters um, into one field, I can take all of my parameters that I want in my in my PDF files, in my DWG files, whatever the case is, um, and I can use that naming then as well in my files. So I don't have to rename any PDFs once they come out of here. I don't have to rename any DWGs. Um, it's all preset up for me in my Navigate settings. Again, I could hit print now from here and that would start to generate out um, all of my sheets. Again, if I go into my DWG settings, it's the same thing. Um, I can configure these and I can, again, pick all of my sheets that I want to do. Maybe I just want to do ones that are in session. That's it up to you. And again, I can control my naming as well. I can preset my naming so that everything's going to come out with the right naming on it and I don't have to do any further work then in terms of renaming files. And again, if this is, you can add NWC, you can add IFC. If they're all ticked and you hit publish, all of your configurations are just going to run and um, you don't need to do basically any more. 